Brethren of the Most High God, welcome once again. We have a very important and beautiful message to share with you from the Rhapsody of Realities for the 26th of November by Pastor Chris entitled, The Prophetic Words. Hallelujah. The theme scripture is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 20, and it writes, Despise not prophesyings. In the Apostle Paul's defense of the gospel before King Agrippa and Bernice, as recorded in Acts chapter 26, Paul emphasized the importance of prophecy. He did it by confronting King Agrippa with a direct question. He asked him, King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. This is in verse 27. Paul challenged Agrippa's understanding and faith in the prophecies regarding the coming of the Messiah. God's only proof for the people at the time was prophecy. There were so many prophecies about the Saviour, the Messiah, and they had to keep searching the scriptures for these prophecies. They had to turn to the words of the prophets. For example, the prophet Isaiah had prophesied, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. In Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, he further prophesied, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah! Prophecy is like a guiding light. Our opening verse charges us not to despise prophecies. The prophetic words of Scripture and of the Spirit are important. The same Paul who asked the King Agrippa the question above said to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Like Timothy, trust the prophetic words of Scripture and the prophetic words of the Spirit to you and use them to make war. Praise God! Did you ever imagine that words would be one of the weapons we have as Christians? God's word has been given to us. Prophecies have been made concerning us and we ought to wage war with them. Hallelujah! I kindly invite you to partake in this prayer as you repeat after me. Dear Father, I declare that my life is for your glory. My future is that of success, progress and prosperity. I continually dwell in peace, divine health, and I experience your grace in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory to God. In our further study section, Pastor Chris has given these scriptures for you to study further on in the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 17 to 18, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verses 3 to 5, and 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 16 to 19. Hallelujah! We trust that this has stirred your spirit to let others know what you just learned and how powerful these principles are when effecting changes in your life. When you find out who the Christian truly is, you won't want to keep quiet about it. Join us today by subscribing to this channel to receive articles like this by the Rhapsody of Realities. And don't just keep this to yourself. Bless your loved ones with the opportunity to hear God's word and their lives will never be the same by sharing this link. We want to thank all of you for what you're doing in moving the gospel forward as we continue to reach the ends of the earth with this message. If you want to receive this life in Christ, wait to the end of this video and you will be guided in the prayer of salvation. Let us know that you thought this was worth hearing by sharing your testimony or liking this video and tune in again tomorrow and be blessed.
received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities, giving you life for meaning. Every day, my life made perfect with Rhapsody.